on Common Sense fam. I just wanted to come to you guys today with my top 10 for spring 2020 list. But first, I want to just give you guys a little fresh preview into me. Um, a lot of you guys are OGs from the beginning. Some of you guys are newer. So just to share a little bit more about myself, I started collecting fragrances when I was maybe 16 years old. That's when I really started getting heavy in the fragrance game. And as I grew in my fragrance journey, I found out that my tastes were uncommon so that's kind of the reason i named my channel uncommon sense i have some fragrances that everybody likes i also have some fragrances that people do not like but i enjoy them on me i've been in the fragrance game for such a long time and this is one of my favorite things to do i do this for free just because i like it. that's just a little bit more about myself and i figure why not do a top 10 for spring 2020 we're gonna go right in to honorable mention uh, honorable mention i'm talking about is fascinado for um this has a dope atomizer. I definitely like Fasanale. I feel like this one is a hidden gem in the fragrance community. It's a woody aromatic. It's fresh. It's got a classic smell. It's very masculine. I really dig it. This is definitely going to be one of the ones I rock for spring 2020. And to like give it a scent, personality, it's what I like to call barbershop pop. We got one that I've talked about in other videos or alluded to. Coming in number 10, we got Givenchy Gentleman. The 2017 release. Our top is going to be that iris. It's a floral frugere that is indeed a spring staple. It's number 10, Gentlemen by Givenchy. Coming in at number 9, did a video about this one as well. It's going to be Clean Men. Clean Men gives that fresh out the shower vibe that lasts quite a bit of time on my skin. So it has that lemon clean burst that I just really dig. So, man, this is a dumb reach for me. When it's all said and done, if I had to pick one word to describe this, to sum it all up, clean. Coming in at number eight, had to feature this one. Tom Ford, Great Vetiver, EDT. I like the EDT concentration a little bit more just because the EDT concentration has that mossy vetiver scent that's classic, clean, and fresh. It's similar to what I would think is the updated version of my dad's favorite cologne, which is Grey Flannel. It's just funny that it's Grey Vetiver. Coming in at number seven, this is an OG. It is none other than Boucheron Peron EDP. Now, the EDP concentration has that timeless vintage citrus aromatic with that classic grown-ass man appeal. Smells super-duper good. <laughs> Definitely love that one. This Coming is in at number six, it's one of my favorite colognes. I did a review on it a while back, but again, it's never too late to get reacquainted with a favorite. That's DKNY, Be Delicious. This one is a woody aromatic with a Granny Smith apple that bites back. So definitely dig this one. It's perfect for spring. One of my favorites. Coming in number five. Recently released a review about this Tommy Bahama. Set Sale St. Bart's. Now this one. Oh yeah. This one is definitely a lime mojito vacation. I definitely feel like a few spritz of this and you get transported to a remote island. Coming in definitely at number four, it. we got one of my trustees, Coach Men, EDT. Honestly, this is one of my Swiss Army knives. It can go through multiple you know, seasons. What so. I like about this one. Ah, yes. This definitely has that juicy pear that I really dig. It really lasts for me on my skin. So this one actually makes it into my heavy hitters list. It just happens to sit on spring and really feel like it's one of the best ones for spring. It's incisive, salient, and indispensable. Coming in at number three, Azaro Wanted. Oh, yeah. Azaro Wanted. To call it, man. It's got that coveted sweet tonka, but it's very complex. I really dig this one. It's definitely sweet for spring. I like it though, because it's one of those ones that'll capture anybody's attention nearby and hold on to it's one of those fragrances that really has some staying power it lasts on my skin at least eight hours and it projects like a monster azar wants it also makes my heavy hitter list for spring 2020 i like it more than the wanted by night that's just me that's just probably one of the only frag heads out there that doesn't like the azar wanted night over the original but again the original got it right on my skin coming in at number two Gonna be Christian Dior, Sauvage. This is the EDT concentration. Magnetic cap. One of the best atomizers in the game is a magnetic fragrance that has an ozonic orbit. Sweet, fresh, 
Them out, Woody and Broxen, bomb. One of the freshest fragrances out there. Really dig this one. And again, this makes my heavy hitter list. We finally here. We finally arrived. The top spot goes to Chic by Carolina Herrera. Man, I really dig this one. This is one of my favorite scents out there, period. This one takes me on a prestigious journey into a Oriental Woody Orchard. Good atomizer. Good scent distribution. It has a watermelon note that I cannot describe how great it is. You got some watermelon, citrus, and musk. I mean, what more could you ask for? It smells super duper dope and excellent on my skin. And it's indicative of spring when the seasons are changing and you're getting the fresh flowers budding and just, you know, everything's renewed and growing and it's a harvest. Chic for men, Carolina Herrera. That's why it's one of my favorites and that's why I made the top spot for spring 2020. So again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10. Go ahead and leave me some comments. Let me know what your top 10 is. Let me know which fragrances you're feeling, which ones you've not heard of, which ones you smelled before, what's your experience, all right? This has been your boy Uncommon Sense, and I really appreciate you guys for sticking around to view my top 10 for spring 2020.